All right, buddy, welcome back. We're going to do another video today. We're in the kitchen. I uh, saw a recipe the other day I kind of wanted to try and figured I'd share it with you while we do it. We're going to be doing ground beef fajita bowls. And let me show you the ingredients we're going to be using today. I've got <clears throat> ground beef, of course, because, you know, we got a bunch of kids, five pounds of it. Fajita seasoning. I've got green bell pepper. I've got an orange and red bell pepper. And then a Vidalia sweet onion. Those are the ones like they use to make blooming onions with. To me, they've got a really good sweet taste, especially when they're sauteed. I'm going to saute this, probably about half of it or so, with a little bit of each one of the bell peppers. I'm going to do the ground meat separately. Of course, we're going to drain it to get the grease off of it. Uh, and we'll mix some seasoning in with it. Um, once all the ingredients are done, we've got rice. We're gonna make a, it's going to be a fajita rice bowl. And of course, you've got your shredded cheese, sour cream, things like that. What we'll do is we'll do all the toppings and everything like that. Do the meat. We'll do the saute of the peppers and the onion. Then we'll do the rice. We'll get everything mixed up. It go, The rice goes down, and then this goes on top for whatever you want on it. You can add different things, avocado, any other thing like you like for your... Um, fajitas i know chicken or steak would be better but with the price of foods right now this is a good way to still have a good meal that'll fill you up and it can fill up a lot of people for you know not a whole lot of money so i'm going to get this situated i'm going to get the meat split up get it seasoned get it cooking and then i'm going to chop all this up and then uh, as the meat's cooking i'll get the peppers and onion ready to be sauteed and we'll go from there so i'll put the uh, ingredient list and everything like that in the description if it's something you're interested in trying i say give it a shot this is gonna be our first time trying it so hopefully i don't screw it up too much all right now i'm gonna get started on all this and of course like last time you're gonna be handling raw meat so between the raw meat and your vegetables and any other ingredients you're going to make sure you want to wash your hands with hot soap and water and of course you want to make sure soap and everything like that it's off your hands and your hands are dry and clean before handling any other ingredients so let me get on this and i'll be right back with you all right you can see i have the meat going two separate pots about a half about two and a half pounds in each pot that way it'll cook a little bit more evenly of course, you don't want to just constantly keep it stirring too much. You want to let it have time to brown. But you do want to keep it turned so it doesn't burn, things like that. So I'm going to let this continue to cook, and I'm going to start on the onion and the bell peppers, things like that. When I have all that laid out, I'll show you next. Step back to that. I'm just gonna let that cook down. And add a little bit of fajita seasoning to it. And then uh, 
We'll get on the next step after this. Alright, I got the uh, vegetables still sauteing. Uh, now the last step is just uh, your rice. I'm just doing the uh, bowl in a bag, instant rice type stuff. <clears throat> then about three bags are kind of small, so it should be enough. If not, I can always do another. But you can kind of take liberty with the recipe a little bit. Add After your rice is done and drained, you can add fajita seasoning to it, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, you don't have to use rice. You can actually put this on uh, regular tortillas, like regular fajitas. Or you can do fajita burgers. Take the meat, put it on a bun with a little bit of cheese and vegetables and things like that on top. You know, make your own fajita burgers or just, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. But, you know, this is how we're going to do it tonight. We're going to get it dry. And, you know, we'll let you know how it is when we get to that point. All right, that's pretty much it. We've got the rice right here i went ahead like i said i did three bags it didn't make a whole lot because the bags were smaller inflation of course everything costs more getting less um i went ahead and put the rest of the fajita season in it then i've got all the vegetables right there and then over here i have the ground meat and all you do after that you're gonna put your rice in a bowl you put your meat down you put your vegetables down sour cream cheese anything else like that that you want um and hopefully you try it and you like it. Let me know what you think. All right, this is it all put together. Like I said, you got your rice, your meat, vegetables, sour cream, cheese, any other that you like on it. Uh, wife tried it off camera. She said she liked it. So give it a try. Hope you like it. Got any other recipes you'd like to share with me and maybe I try. Especially, you know, stuff that'll feed a family or an army in our case. Uh, feel free to share with us links descriptions whatever you know to where we can see the recipe that'd be great and we'd appreciate it have a good one and good night